Hi ghosties, this is my ghostie. And I will be talking about our beautiful character, Staphne. Now, if you are fairly new and you don't know what's so important about this character that you missed every single happiness event, I'll hit you up. So, as far as I know, I don't read the storyline of the happiness events because it just it's so cheesy and so cringy. I feel like dying really fast. And she shows up. And she shows up with uh, talking to Nikki or Momo. And she talks about the wedding dresses. But that's just how far I went with this character on those on that event. I don't know if she's in every single happiness event. But so far she's, she reappears in the three happiness events. So I think she's the main character for that sort. And I think she's... I don't know. I think she's in two chapters, but I'm not so sure. I don't remember chapters with Stephanie besides chapter 14, because that's very recent. So Stephanie was in Wasteland, and she kind of like lost something behind or forgot something behind she went back to get it but she was crowded by tribes well tribe members tribe members because they were so passionate about their fortune being told and she is one of the people that could do that she reads people's fortunes um but you know, she, further along down the line, she ends up going home and whatever, so <laughs> there you go. Okay, so in my association, we are fairly new because we are like a month or two months old. And already, we're almost done with Chapter 5. Okay, so when Chapter 5 was released, um, we were still in the middle of Chapter 4 or Chapter 3. But it didn't take us long to go to Chapter 5. Which is it was it was shocking, um. Which here we are now. I really love this background. It's so freaking gorgeous. I love the lights of where they just illuminate. Um, but yeah, I just admire it so much. It's so sparkly, um. But here we are now. We only have four four percent in on the last stage. I didn't even do that stage yet, so it's it's whatever. <laughs> Um, okay. I didn't do anything with this set yet. I just don't like it that much until I finish the one I want the most. Um, but I have to say, in my opinion, I really truly love her style. I don't know what's so special about it. I just think the detail of it, it just reminds me of like a galaxy. Um, I think she just loves the space. I'm not too sure if that's true. Um, but if you just look at the color scheme, look at every single design on her, she's very unique in my eyes. And I was struggling whether to do the purple one or the blue one. Because, as you know, look at my jewels. <laughs> They're going downhill. Um, but I'm working on the blue set and the purple set. Which is kind of um, idiotic, I know, but I rather work on two things at the same time rather than just do one thing and then do the other thing, which is really lack uh, adding more time to my game. Um, but what I don't like to do though is you know feeling impatient all the time. About, you know, you finish a set, the same set that you want, customized as well. But then you can't get the other half done. And, you know, that impatient feeling will etch you until you spend all your diamonds and you will regret it. Because I've been in that situation over five times. And it's not it's not really nice. I think many of you could understand as well. Um... Hmm. I mean, so far on Love Nikki, Stephanie's set 
has to be one of my most favorites. Uh, so is Aces and Bobo's Dream Dress. The thing is, what puts me off about Pure Lotus, which is presents uh, Luna. Okay, the body type kind of ruins it. It really, really does ruin it. And I had this conversation with my friends, so of course they understand the, the, the true reason. But again, that is the true reason. The body type does not suit the dress. It just, I don't know, I only see Luna with that perfect, you know, body type. Body, uh, body type, if you must body type and it just makes her look like a mother while Nikki just looked like she's wearing an over dressed clothed <laughs> clothes I guess um but she does look good trying to dress up as um ace but with um, the Ico one which is the cat one I'm not too sure about it I mean the pink tails it's just, eh, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so let's just go back to the uh, four seasons. So far, so good. My association is just rising up, which is kind of good. Alright, so where is she? I went past the one noob. Alright, here she is. Alright, so we ha we're going to start with pink first. Nope, not you, clock. Right, so I believe she has silver hair, I think. Alright, so this one has silver hair with yellow stars, which I really love the hair, <laughs> I actually do. But the thing is, I like to collect every single hair from this set, but 41 earrings and I have 50, and I need to have that 50 for the dresses on the two set, well, the two colour themes. I guess. Um, the pink set I will not try hard to complete. I do love it. Um, it looks very playful and I do kind of need some pink dresses in my wardrobe. But again, it's just like if you hate pink with a passion like I do and then you just lack the colour and then you think about, you know, many of your friends actually past stages having pink on and you're just like having barely of that <laughs> um but i'm kind of like thinking twice about it it is like it's it's, it's a pretty style and it kind of like suits everything about it but again it, it's too girly man i don't like that <laughs> um so sockings i'm shocked that they're white you know <laughs> so simple and lively that's cool cute and pure lively and cute so the attributes aren't that bad. Alright, the shoes I can't say much because they're like everything else. The book suits the dress and the necklace I'm not too sure. Alright, so that was a pink set and I kind of like it but I hate I hate pink with a passion. Um, Alright, so here's the pink head. Right, what I don't understand, right... I used to watch Barbie as a child. I know every single one of us as, you know, the early 20 babies was brainwashed to watch Barbie. And she always wears pink and yellow all the time. So this one reminds me of that, but the opposite, because Barbie is blonde. This one has pink hair and a yellow dress. Barbie has yellow hair and a pink dress so it's just like I I kind of guess the devs again inspiration from Barbie at some point that's a joke don't even take offense all right let's just take a look so I can tell the shoes are darker than the rest of her all right I, I kind of like the shade of pink on her but I have so many pink hairs I really do um which I already made a blog about it as well. And people was like, you're obsessed with pink. But it's like, that offended me. <laughs> um, but I I really like this one. It kind of has like white stars in the hair. Which is cool. This reminds me of a pastry. 
like, you know, a sponge cake and it has like cream in the middle of the sponge cake with no jam. It just reminds me of that soft, fluffy cake with cream in the middle. Uh, and, now I'm, and now I'm hungry. God. Yeah, but it, it does look like that. It just looks like she's in. A, she's working as a bakery. Um, this one kind of puts me off, but it's very different to any socks that she's wearing. Because the purple one is fully purple or dark purple. The blue one has blue, no wait, cyan and black stripes. The pink one has silver and white stripes. And this one fades into yellow and white, so that's pretty cool, to be honest. And they're brown? Right, she's definitely a pastry man. Because you have, like, I don't know, brown at the bottom of the sponge cake. And it's not that dark, but it's like, you get what I mean. But, oh my, she's, she's a cake. Despise the pink hair. She's a damn cake. Eh. I'm not so fond of the items, though. But everything else, uh, I kind of like. So, I don't know if I would end up completing this set fully. It's just, I have some issues with some colour schemes. And, you know, I like the dresses and I love the hair. But the shoe option for the yellow is kind of questionable. So, everything else, yes, I love it. I love it all. And here is my blue... Uh, side progress so she has brown hair yellow stars her shoes are this amazing color i love them with a passion uh, the shoes well the book actually matches her shoes and her dress and here is a dress detail that reminds me of ocean under the stars i really love it with the bloody hat oh my god now you see why i couldn't pick between purple or blue because them two are my, at least my favorite colors actually my three favorite co colors is black purple and blue and then it goes to green <laughs> don't question why green um but damn, this dress is so damn gorgeous and the sleeves and that bow thing behind her is um <sighs> what's that fabric that you could see through but you couldn't see through because it's fabric i don't know what it's called it's either silk i think no silk is very strong and soft i don't know it, it's that fabric that i have in my head but i don't know the name to it's weird anyway I really love this dress though, everything about this one, but the hair kind of like puts me off as to why it was brown and not, you know, um, like a nice pastel blue. I mean, that would, that would actually look amazing on her. But anyway, I really love the color options though. Everything about her is damn gorgeous. Anyway, so I think I'm going to head off. I'm almost over my time. And I hope I didn't bore any one of you. But anyway, have a nice life.